We all get concerned about what people say or think about us. But the greatest thing you must know is what God thinks about you. Recently, we went to do a program. It was for the school of the blind and the deaf. Suddenly, the light went out in the evening. And the students screamed, lights off. And were surprised that they could see, even though they were supposed to be blind, that the light was out. And the teacher explained to us, we have double trouble. The school for the blind and the school for the deaf cannot operate when there is no light. Because even for the sign language, they need light in order to see. It was a big lesson for me. Come to think about it, this is what Jesus says about you and I, who are his disciples. Say, so you are the light of the world. We delight to complain about troubles, problems, challenges, fearful about many things. But where there's darkness, light changes the environment. Think about what God has said about you. You are the light of the world. Therefore, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are willing, able, ready to activate the quality of light in you this month. Live for God and let this be a fruitful month. You are blessed and favored because God sees you are His light. Amen. Amen.